Have you ever found yourself inexplicably drawn to someone upon meeting them for the first time? What is it that sparks this immediate attraction? Our journey into the science of attraction begins with a critical moment, the first impression. It's a moment that's as fascinating as it is fleeting. Within mere seconds our brains are at work, scanning and evaluating a myriad of factors. They're examining facial features, interpreting body language and tuning into vocal tones. All these elements are pieces of a complex puzzle that our minds piece together to form an initial impression. This isn't just about spotting a pleasant smile or a confident stance. It's about decoding an intricate language of nonverbal cues, a language that speaks volumes about the person standing in front of us. But what exactly does our brain look for in these early encounters? What makes someone's face, voice or posture so compelling? Firstly, facial features play a crucial role. Our brains are naturally drawn to symmetry and balance, as they often indicate good health and genetics. However, it doesn't stop there. It's not just about the shape of the eyes or the curve of a smile. It's the emotion that these features convey. A genuine smile can signal kindness, while steady eye contact can suggest confidence. Next, we have body language. A person's stance, gestures, and movements offer valuable insights into their personality and mood. Open, relaxed postures can indicate friendliness and approachability, while closed, guarded postures might suggest discomfort or disinterest. Lastly, vocal tones come into play. The pitch, volume, and speed of someone's voice can greatly influence our perception of them. A gentle, soothing voice might evoke feelings of trust and comfort, while a loud, fast-paced voice might signal excitement or nervousness. So the next time you feel an instant connection, remember it's your brain processing subtle cues faster than you can blink. It's a fascinating dance of perception and interpretation, a dance that sets the stage for the journey of attraction. This is the magic of the first impression, where the science of love begins. But it's not just about what you see or hear. Have you ever heard of pheromones? These silent communicators are powerful chemical signals released by our bodies playing a significant role in the complex game of attraction. Pheromones are like our own personal secret codes, invisible and odorless yet incredibly influential. They are a part of our biological makeup, acting as messengers that transmit key information about us to potential partners. Intriguing, isn't it? Now, you may be wondering how do these pheromones work? Well, they carry vital data about our genetic compatibility and immune system strength. This information is crucial for potential mates on a subconscious level. It's all about survival of the fittest and ensuring the best genetic mix for future offspring. Imagine walking into a room and being drawn to someone not because of their stunning looks or charming wit, but due to these invisible chemical messengers. That's the power of pheromones at play. They have the ability to influence our decisions, steering us towards those we are most compatible with. But how do we pick up these chemical signals? It's believed that a tiny organ in our nose, known as the vomeronasal organ, is responsible for detecting pheromones. This organ sends signals to our brain, sparking a cascade of reactions that shape our feelings of attraction. What's even more fascinating is that these pheromones can also trigger changes in our mood, behavior, and physiology. Ever felt an inexplicable rush of excitement around someone? Or perhaps a sudden surge of warmth? Those are your pheromones, subtly altering your emotions and reactions. While the science of pheromones is still a field of ongoing research, it's clear that these chemical signals play an integral role in our interpersonal interactions and romantic attractions. They are a part of nature's intricate design, silently guiding us in our quest for love and connection. So, the mysterious chemistry of attraction? It's quite literally in the air. Beyond our senses, do we tend to gravitate towards people who are like us? The answer, intriguingly, is yes. This tendency is rooted in a phenomenon known as the similarity attraction effect. The similarity attraction effect is a principle that suggests we are naturally drawn towards individuals who mirror our interests, values, and even physical appearances. This effect is deeply ingrained in our social psychology, shaping our friendships, partnerships, and even our professional relationships. But why is this so? The answer lies in the comforting familiarity of similarity, Shared interests and values form a common ground, a platform for conversation, and a basis for understanding each other. They provide a sense of validation, affirming our worldview and reinforcing our identity. For instance, if you're an ardent lover of classical music, you're likely to feel an instant connection with someone who appreciates Mozart as much as you do, or perhaps you're a passionate environmentalist. 
Wouldn't you feel a natural affinity towards someone who shares your zeal for sustainability? The same principle applies even to physical appearances. Research shows that we are more likely to be attracted to individuals who resemble us. This might seem surprising, but think about it. Seeing our features reflected in someone else can be oddly reassuring, subtly suggesting a genetic compatibility that our subconscious minds find appealing. But it's important to remember that the similarity attraction effect doesn't mean we are seeking clones of ourselves. Instead, it's about finding a sense of familiarity and comfort in others. It's about sharing a wavelength, a rhythm, a resonance that harmonizes with our own. So the next time you find yourself drawn to someone who shares your love for vintage cars, or your penchant for spicy food, or even your quirky sense of humor, know that the similarity attraction effect is at play. It seems we're naturally inclined to seek out our reflections in others. It's a fascinating facet of our human nature, revealing yet another layer in the complex tapestry of attraction. And as we continue to unravel the mysteries of attraction, we realize just how wonderfully intricate the science of love truly is. Yet, attraction isn't just about similarities. Have you ever found yourself attracted to someone who seems to be your complete opposite? This might seem puzzling, but there's a scientific explanation for this phenomenon, and it's called the complementary attraction theory. This theory suggests that we often seek out partners who possess traits and qualities that we lack. So, if you're a spontaneous, free-spirited individual, you might find yourself drawn to someone who is more structured and organized. The idea is that these contrasting traits can create a perfect balance in a relationship, like two pieces of a puzzle fitting together. But why does this happen? Psychologists believe it's because these complementary traits can fulfill our subconscious needs. For instance, an introverted person might be attracted to an extrovert, finding their social ease and charisma appealing. Similarly, a meticulous planner might be drawn to someone spontaneous, appreciating their ability to bring excitement and unpredictability into their otherwise structured life. This theory also suggests that such complementary relationships can promote personal growth. By being with someone who possesses different traits, we have an opportunity to learn and develop those qualities within ourselves. It's like having a personal mirror that reflects the traits we need to work on. However, it's important to note that the complementary attraction theory doesn't mean that opposites attract in every aspect. Fundamental values and beliefs should still align for a relationship to be successful. It's about finding that compelling balance between similarity and difference. In the grand scheme of love and attraction, this theory is just one piece of the puzzle. Love is a complex tapestry, woven with threads of biology, psychology, and personal experiences. And while science can provide some insights, the ultimate secret of attraction may always remain a mystery. Sometimes it's the differences that make the perfect match. So the next time you find yourself drawn to someone who is your polar opposite, remember that it might just be the complementary attraction theory at work turning differences into a beautiful, balanced partnership. But let's not forget about proximity and the powerful role of neurotransmitters. As we unravel the complexities of love and attraction, we must pay due attention to these two key factors. Proximity, or being physically close to others, is a significant contributor to the development of attraction. Think about it. The people we're most likely to form relationships with are often those we meet in our daily environments, at school, at work, or in our neighborhoods. This isn't mere coincidence, it's the result of a simple yet powerful principle. The more we interact with someone, the more opportunities we have to form a bond. Now let's shift gears and delve into the inner workings of our brains. Neurotransmitters such as dopamine, serotonin, and oxytocin play a crucial role in our emotional responses. When we're attracted to someone, these neurotransmitters spring into action, giving us that familiar feeling of butterflies in our stomach or a rush of excitement. Dopamine, often referred to as the feel-good neurotransmitter, is responsible for the euphoria we associate with new love. It keeps us coming back for more, driving the desire to spend more time with the object of our affection. Serotonin, on the other hand, regulates our mood, ensuring that our emotional responses are balanced and healthy. When we're in love, serotonin levels can fluctuate, leading to the emotional highs and lows often experienced in the early stages of a relationship. Then there's oxytocin, aptly named the love hormone. This neurotransmitter deepens feelings of attachment and intimacy, fostering a sense of security and trust in our relationships. It's the chemical that keeps the spark alive, 
even in long-term relationships. So, there you have it. The forces of attraction are not just about physical allure or shared interests, they're also about our brain chemistry and the spaces we inhabit. As we can see, the science of attraction is a beautiful interplay of biology and environment. So, love is not just about the heart, it's also about the brain and where you are.